Some of the challenges I've had this year through my final product were mostly just being creative. Uh, I'm not the most creative person at all, so it was really hard to pick like a material that I would make chromosomes out of. I originally thought of using like the foam from a pool noodle, but after trying it, it's really thick and it's really hard to cut, so they didn't look very good. So I started completely over pretty much, and now I'm using like just thick craft foam from Hobby Lobby. And here's the process that I've gone through so far. First I made a blueprint of all the chromosomes and the diseases I wanted to include, and then I drew them all onto this foam, and then I cut them out and spray painted them. That's actually as wide as my kitchen table, <laughs> the next step. It's probably about five feet tall. and. After that, probably tonight, I'm going to type out some cards and under each chromosome, I'm going to write out the disease that c occurs on that chromosome as well as a short description. This is in, in addition to the 17-page Word document that I've made of all the diseases that I've researched so far and probably a 100-page PDF of all of the articles that I've read. And. After I finish my final product and after final presentation night, I'm thinking about continuing with neonatology next year in ISM. While I've really enjoyed genetics and I've learned a lot, I think that I want to do something that's more like hands-on with the patients. While I get to see patients every week, it's more just like talking to the parents. There's no, the geneticist themselves doesn't really do a lot of the procedures they would go to, say, a cardiologist or a, a neurologist for any procedures that they would need. So with neonatology, I would get to see the newborn babies that were just born, whether it's really premature or they have a genetic disease. One of my favorite mentor visits was going to the NICU, the neonatology intensive care unit. And so that really inspired me that maybe that this would be something that I should do next year. And after senior year in college, I'm planning on majoring in biology and music because while I really love music, it's not the most stable career. You can't really guarantee that you're going to get a job. But I also really enjoy it, so I don't want to stop playing yet. So I think double majoring is the best choice for me at the moment. And after college, I plan to have a career in medicine or music or something. We'll see. I'm not quite sure yet. <coughs> and for, through ISM this year, I've met a lot of really amazing people. And I just wanted to thank everyone that's helped me in this journey so far. First would be my mentor, Dr. Mary Lynn. She has put in so much time and effort to help me through this journey this year. She's given me so much of her knowledge and her time. And I'm really grateful for everything she's done for me. Next would be Coach Goff. She's been like a second mother to me, whether it's that I need to cry to her on the phone or she, I need a kick in the pants to get moving on something. I'm really grateful that she's been there for all of us this year. I would also like to thank my parents for just buying everything that I've needed and driving me to and from mentor visits when they wouldn't let me drive on the highway and <laughs> just overall just being there for me throughout this whole experience. I'd also like to thank the genetics team at UT Southwestern. They've all welcomed me with open arms, and they've, I'm so grateful that they've been willing to help me through ISM this year. I'd also like to thank my teachers. They've really been um, helpful in facilitating everything that I've done this year, whether it's letting me leave class early for a mentor visit or missing class for a field trip. They've, very, they've been very open to the ISM program, and I'm really grateful for that. And finally, I'd like to thank everyone that came here came out to hear me speak today. Um, I'm really grateful for all of your support, and I hope you have a safe trip home. That's it. <laughs>